Hi, I'm John. Welcome to The Franchise Coach. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the research and due diligence that you're going to do before making a decision to join any franchise organization. And, and this is really, really important. Typically, this is going to take you a little while. We, we normally see somewhere between 45 and 60 days to make a proper decision. Uh, that gives uh, a candidate enough time to really do the work that they have to in order to make uh, an educated decision. You want to be informed. You want to know everything there is to know about this because the last thing you or the franchisor wants is for you to come back a year down the line and say, hey, you know what, I didn't know that when I got into this. We never want that to happen. So let's talk a little bit first about the FDD or what is actually called the Franchise Disclosure Document. Uh, any franchise offering that you're going to look into is going to provide you with a big fat legal document that's uh, designed to tell you everything there is to know about that company. Um, this is a really important document and if it's a good franchise organization that you're looking into, they will encourage you to read through that document, maybe have a lawyer take a look at it, and come back to them with a whole bunch of questions and comments and anything that you need clarification on. If there's any reason that you think that they're somehow not being open and honest with their discussion of the franchise disclosure document, well, we certainly call that a red flag. So there's a couple things you're going to find inside the disclosure document or the FDD. Um, number one, is there any litigation? Is anybody suing this particular company and why? Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad, but if there is litigation going on, you need to find out what it's all about. Uh, certainly if there's a lot of it, then that could be a red flag as well. Um, another thing, how indebted is the franchisor? Do they owe a lot of money? Are they at risk themselves? Have they gone out on a limb in order to create this franchise company? It's important. Again, debt is not bad. We understand that in business in North America, debt is good. It helps you build. It helps you build your business. However, a franchisor who has been in business for a long time really should not be in debt. They should have established themselves and they should be a company that is financially stable and able to support their franchise organization in years to come. Probably the most important thing that you're going to do in terms of your due diligence and research is something that we call in the, in the franchise industry validation. Um, and by validation, we, we really mean just speaking with the existing franchise operators in that organization to find out the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, a good franchise operator uh, and even a bad franchise operator are always going to be willing to talk to new people coming into the system. They understand that it's in their best interest to help people make a good decision because they want good people to come in as much as you may want to come in. Um, have your questions ready. Speak to as many existing franchise operators as you feel comfortable, comfortable with. Um, try to find some that are successful and some that are not as successful so that you can get both sides of the coin and believe me no matter how good the company is there's always going to be people at both ends of the spectrum so take your validation seriously put in the time and effort and make sure you speak with all the franchise operators you can which brings me to the final uh, and and probably most important part of my discussion today and that is the difference between a franchisor that sells their franchise agreement and a franchisor that awards a franchise agreement. And there's a big difference there. There are some disreputable franchises out there that make money off collecting your initial franchise fee. And so they're just out selling the franchise. Oftentimes they'll bring people in simply because they have the money, not because they're a good fit. Um, and believe me, that's not the kind of organization you want to be involved in. What you want to find is a good franchisor who understands that the, the, the process is an awarding process. Um, they go through an interview process with you, and the same way that you are interviewing and you're doing your dil due diligence with them to find out if you think you're a good fit, they're doing the same thing with you to make sure that you fit well with the network. If they do a good job and they bring in the right people, that business will grow fast and everyone wins. So watch out for these red flags as you're doing your homework. It's important to make sure that you do everything you need to to make a good decision. 